on everyone? This is Mitch with SC Weather. I hope you all having a great start to your weekend. Uh, in this video, we're going to break down the winter storm in Texas. It's going to hit Texas. It's going to hit northern Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, and even Tennessee. We're going to break all this down, talk about what the National Weather Service is saying, uh, break down what some of the main short-range models are saying, European, the ensembles, uh, things like that. And we're going to break it down, what I think uh, main cities like Dallas, uh, north of Houston, potentially, uh, Shreveport, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, maybe Memphis. All these areas could really have a good chance to get snow. So we're going to break it all down here. Uh, before we get going, guys, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome way to support me. It's much appreciated. Uh, thank you all for the awesome support. I've had massive growth in the last 30, 35 days or so. And it's all because of you guys, and it's just so appreciated. Um, so let's get going with this. A lot to talk about. We're going to break down everything. These are the National Weather Service's watches and warnings uh, display. This is all available. Just go to nationalweatherservice.com. It's, it's all there. Um, this area of blue right here is winter storm watches. Um, a little swath that digs south. It comes back into north, northern Louisiana. This may get extended, at least winter weather advisories, I think will, into uh, portions of Mississippi. So if you're watching from Mississippi, uh, you do have a chance of snow, maybe even all the way up to Memphis. Uh, extreme areas of southwestern Tennessee. So let's break down each area right here. So let's see if I can get. So we're going to start with the uh, uh, the National Weather Service in San Angelo. And if I'm saying that wrong, my guy, my bad guys. But San Angelo, I believe, is how you pronounce this town. But check it out here. This is actually an area of Texas that could hit re get hit really hard. Um, Abilene, Albany. Um, all them areas in the blue, you're under a winter storm watch for three to six inches. Um, this is still a tricky one, but uh, we're within 24 hours of this system. It's, this is a system that's supposed to start tomorrow into, sun, into uh, Sunday night. So, uh, well, actually around here, Saturday night into Sunday. So this is expected to start moving in tonight um, for you guys. And, and check it out. This is the National Weather Service in Fort Worth, Dallas. So, uh, unfortunately, right now, this doesn't mean anything necessarily, Dallas. I do think y'all are going to see winter weather in Dallas. I know y'all are in a pretty nasty snowless streak like we are here in Columbia, South Carolina. Normally when y'all get hit, we get hit, but not in this case, and that, that's unfortunate for us. But winter, sto winter storm watches extend uh, just west of y'all. They dip south, and they almost, they're almost they almost surrounding y'all, except not up north. But uh Y'all aren't under any kind of winter weather advisory watch or warning right now, but this, I'm going to talk about there is a real potential that the snow could really reach y'all up in this area. But Waco, um, Tyler, uh, all these cities down here below y'all under winter storm watches um, for, if you click here, this is, says for one to four inches of snow right now. National Weather Service in Houston, it's actually, this is going to get south enough to where it's in their area. Um, you click this, Brian, Lufkin, Waco, Texas, close to Austin. Uh, nothing, I don't think you're going to see winter weather in Houston. If you do, it's, I don't think it's going to stick or, or be anything significant or anything like that. But check it out. One to four inches are possible in the uh, watch areas. So this is, uh, this is impressive. This is a deep south winter storm. And this is considered a winter storm for these areas. One to three inches is a winter storm for the south. Um, so this is definitely a big one. Um, National Weather Service in Shreveport, Louisiana, Shreveport, uh, area of uh, northern Louisiana for sure, are going to get a swath of accumulating snow. So we go over to Jackson. There is no winter, winter storm watches in the Jackson area, in their area, but they are highlighting an area of snow. They Each, na each National Weather Service has their own little thing that they do. And this is kind of what they do, and I like it. There's like advisory levels, limited, elevated, significant, extreme. Right now, they have an area of elevated right through Yazoo City, Greenwood, Vicksburg. Uh, Jackson itself is in the limited area, but this area is going to see snow, I believe. How much? They think maybe up to two inches. So a locally higher amount. So we go to Memphis. Again, no watch or advisories in this area, but they are talking about the chances. They have their own hazardous out weather outlook, which is pretty cool and easy to understand. For today, there's no threat. For uh, tomorrow, it's a 2 out of 5 on their scale. Monday, a 3 out of 5. So obviously, this storm gets a little bit further in time. This is a storm for them guys in the Sunday night to Monday. But 
This is their breakdown. Minor accumulations are expected, but not lightning more than an inch. So they are highlighting an area of snow. So now we're going to go into the model runs. We're going to start with the HRRR model run because everybody loves this run in Texas and Louisiana. And this is why. And let me tell you, if you're here in North Carolina, South Carolina, the HRRR model did good with, with one out of two things. It did, it did pretty good with where the moisture sets up. Uh, they, it highlighted a, a deformation band that set up and back in moisture in it. It was a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Snowfall accumulations, maybe a 5 out of 10. wasn't super accurate. But here's the thing, is low pressures tend in anywhere in the country, especially along the Gulf and uh, East Coast, tend to end up tracking a little bit more north than what they're showing on models. So this is a good thing for places like Dallas. But check it out. We're getting into, um, and this is probably around noon or early afternoon Sunday. Snow breaking out all across northern and central Texas. Uh, it's starting to move into this area. And, and according to this model, that is a big swath of heavy snow and moderate snow even over Dallas, Texas. And look how south it gets. It's, it's decently close to Houston. This is some pretty heavy snow south of, um, of Dallas, Texas, though. The area where basically you're going to get the heaviest precipitation, but it's, the, it's cold enough to be snow, is obviously who's going to get the most snow. And, and I think all models are in agreement that that's going to be south of Dallas. But Dallas, I do think y'all stand a good chance to get um, some kind of accumulating snow, even if that's an inch or two. Y'all are going to definitely get a prolonged period of snow tomorrow afternoon, I believe. Um, and I'm sorry, this is more into the noon early afternoon right now. So the storm tomorrow afternoon is getting into mainly the northern part of Texas, not the panhandle of Texas, but the northern part of Texas and more of a northeast part of Texas is what I'm trying to say. And it's starting to get into the eastern area of the state. And then tomorrow evening, it starts to get into Louisiana. And check out this. This is some heavy snow breaking out over northern Louisiana. Um, and it's, it's, if, if this model is correct, this is going to be a good thumping of snow for you guys in northern Louisiana. Um, this is a just a, a, a low pressure is perfect. Um, I tell you what, norm, normally these kind of storms end up transitioning to a winter storm here in the Carolinas. Widespread winter storm too, but this one just doesn't. I guess it's just some funky 2021 thing, but it just does not materialize. But... As we're getting into even southern Arkansas, you're getting a good bit of snow. Um, it has a much more north on the HRRR model, but this is a good little burst of snow, area of snow moving into um, a good chunk of Mississippi. Uh, this is the this is far out as this model goes. This is the latest long-range HRRR, but if we check out the snowfall accumulations, the entire run, and, and it isn't done over here, um, I don't think this is actual snow all snow right here. This is definitely more of a uh, 10 to 1 snow ratio. I don't think this is all going to be 10 to 1 ratio. I think you might get more of a 6 to 1, 7 to 1. In a nutshell, that's heavy, heavy snow. The higher ratio you got, 20 to 1, for example, that means you got snow falling probably in the 20s. When you got pouring down snow at 30 to 32 range, you have more of a below 10 to 1 range. Um, 10 to 1 meaning 10 inches of snow per 1 inch of precipitation of liquid. So that's what I'm, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Drop me a comment and I'll try to break it down for you a little bit more. But um, this is some heavy snow south of Dallas and uh, west of Dallas. And the swath digs down and this is some pretty heavy snow in northern Louisiana. We get into the GFS which was uh, a, a little bit conservative on, on this storm is now coming in much more bullish. This is the latest GFS. Uh, this is heavy snow. Um, and I know you see green right here, but that's snow falling. Um, right around here, south of Dallas, right where the heavy precipitation is, like I said, enough cold air to be falling. It's heavy, wet snow. This has a chance to really, really calm down. And that area moves into northern Louisiana. And as you can tell, the it's like the, the, it gets sheared out. The storm kind of uh, it loses its punch altogether. Not enough cold air, and the storm just kind of weakens. Low pressure weakens into nothing, and the GFS is not as quite as impressive uh, for Mississippi and the Tennessee as the HRRR model run. Now, we look at snowfall accumulations. This is, I think this is fairly realistic. 
I think you can get a little bit more on Mississippi, but I think this is GFS actually might have a good idea of snowfall right here. I do think you and Dallas, I do think y'all are going to get accumulating snow. I, I'm not going to say 100% sure, but I think there's a solid chance. If we look at the latest NAM. NAM has a tendency to, uh, we call it being NAMed in the weather community. That means when you get an awesome run that just throws a huge amount of snow or ice on you. But uh, NAM is showing a, a very heavy area of snow. I've said it three times in this video. Just south of Texas, it is going to be coming down. Um, the NAM isn't quite as north as the HRRR model of the GFS, but it still has an area of moderate snow making it to Dallas, Texas. This moves into Louisiana. Heavy, heavy snow. Shreveport, I think, has a chance to see really heavy snow. Gets into Mississippi. You can tell where the storm kind of starts to weaken, but there's still some heavy snow in central Mississippi. I will make it to Oxford. Uh, it'll be close. But Memphis is doing a good job, National Weather Service in Memphis, of showing and talking about the area of snow potential in northern Mississippi. And it'll begin to just kind of weaken maybe Nashville, Memphis, areas in the uh, central to western parts of Tennessee may have some snow showers. Um, but as we look at the NAM snowfall accumulations, here we go. We're going to go flip through time. Bear with my internet uh, as it uh, moves at uh, turbo reverse speed here. So um, we're getting in time here. Um, this is the NAM snowfall accumulation. Uh, we're moving here. We're getting through. Uh, it, very, very, very slow speeds. But here you go. Uh, decent snow event for Amarillo. Snow starts breaking out in the heart of Texas. And uh, here it comes. Here comes that them heavy snowfall accumulation, pretty much uh, potential return showing up on the NAM. Uh, I think this is a good idea for Dallas. NAM has one or two inches up for you guys. I think that is a that's a realistic amount to shoot for for right now. Uh, Albaline is going to be in a good spot. Uh, Waco is going to be a good spot. Uh, the NAM has it getting really close to Texas. As you keep moving, a swath of heavy snow maybe around or just south of Shreveport, according to the NAM, and a decent snow event in Mississippi. Um, now we're going to look at the Euro. This is the uh, 6Z Euro, um, and here it comes. Here's the storm right here. That's a big time winter storm moving through, moves through. I know you see kind of green and pink here, but this is going to be snow. Uh, it keeps it moving through uh, Texas, and even the Euro gets it all the way into Alabama. So we're going to watch and see if the Euro it confirms there. Storm moves through. doesn't do much for us in the Carolinas and the southeast. Look at the NAM snowfall accumulation off the operational 6Z run. Um, here comes the swath of heavy snow setting up here. Um, let's just go on and get a little bit closer here. So, <clears throat> here it is. Dallas, uh, what are you? You're kind of right in here, right? So you're right. There's a sharp gradient of accumulating snow and just some snow falling. Um, heart of Texas, uh, this is where it's, um, San Angelo was talking about in their area. They, they could be in that jackpot area for snow in Texas. Swath of accumulating snow just south of Texas into eastern Texas makes it into northern Louisiana. Swath of a few inches of snow, um, you know. So that we get into the uh, ensemble run here, um, and I think I was only a ensemble run there. So my bad, my bad, guys. But this has been the ensemble run. So uh, close up of Louisiana, swath of accumulating snow in northern half of Louisiana. We get into Mississippi and check it out. Uh, it's highlighting an area that the signal of accumulating snow in Mississippi. So this is a big time potential event for for you guys in the heart of Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, and parts of Arkansas. So uh, I'm gonna maybe have another vid update video on this in, some, in the morning. But this is a major event for you guys that has kind of been overshadowed by the storm that just happened. Um, but this is my update on it. Enjoy the snow, you guys. Uh, I know some of you guys are going to get hit over the next couple days. Do not see snow a lot, so definitely enjoy it, and I'll have you all update in the morning. You all have a blessed afternoon.